Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and this is game number two of a best of three. Now game one was spectacular, epically good. One of these players put up a mighty strong defense. I'm not going to spoil it yet because if you've just stumbled upon game two of a best of three and you're like, wait, wait, I have not watched game one. You should pause, open a new tab, go to my channel, find the game number one, watch it and then come back here and press play. So hopefully we're all back on the same page now. Game one, wasn't that awesome seriously that was so good everything that hero marine did this star up in the top right the red terran player he did amazingly well but yeah his opponent down in the bottom left is of course his teammate also a mouse it is the blue protoss player hasuobs so hero marine seriously game game one that defense was swish you can't really get much more aggression, much more pressure being placed on than a Zealot 2 Stalker plus Mothership Core into Proxy Stargate, into Relentless Oracles, Relentless Stalkers, pushing at the front of your main, at the back of the mineral line, after going to Command Center first. Seriously. So good. Now, obviously what this means is Hero Marine is one game up. It's best of three, so if he wins this game, Hasuobs is no more. He has vanquished Hasuobs. And Hero Marine will advance forward. Um, I'm assuming advancing forward. I can't remember what event this is from. I downloaded the replay a while ago. So, yeah. It's from something. And it's a best of three. Now. Currently, Hasuobs is going for a very different build. He's gone for a second gas. I was going to say it's the same build because he's got a, a one gas. But no, second gas. Very different to game one. Game one, it was one gas, three probes. This game, two gas. Probably two probes in each. Most likely. Pylon coming down very much at the edge of the base. Grants a little bit of vision on the low ground, also let you know if anything sneaky comes out from Hero Marine, who isn't afraid to be aggressive um, in the early game. That's one of the actual best qualities of Hero Marine, in my opinion, is that he doesn't have a style. He just does everything well. He can he can micro or macro well, go long games, short games, middle games, any games. He's just got that full rounded approach to the game, which makes it very hard to come against him, because it's like, well, what point of the game do I try and exploit to win? And the answer is, well, none of them and all of them, which is not really that easy to play against. So Hasuobs is going to get scouted out here. Um, interesting, the SCV coming right the way over, getting pulled here. Um, Hero Marine, he went for that barracks first, so slightly safer build to game one, probably quite justified after how game one went for him and the aggression Hasuobs put on. And once again, really, this is just Hero Marine scouting out what's occurring. This Marine also coming to check around to make sure no proxies or anything like that could be occurring because, again, proxy Stargate game number one. All really smart, adaptive play from Hero Marine to try and adjust to what his opponent's doing. SCV is winning fight at the moment against Probe. Um, the Probe running away. This is very normal. Mothership Core is coming out, though. That will save Probe, definitely, and SCV will be forced away. And back into the retreat to go and wander back home and say, Guys, I nearly killed a Probe. Which isn't really that good. Um, I'm sure when he gets back to the local SCV bar... That story will change. Um, after a couple of pints, he'll be sitting there and be like, I killed that probe. After a few more pints, it'll be, I killed I killed that stalker. A couple of more pints, he'll be like, I killed that carrier. Of course, it would probably be more slurred after about 10 pints, which theoretically SCV has now had. So, yeah, that's a little story of what happens in SCVs and bars. They exaggerate all their stories of their adventures when they go scouting. Um, back on their gap year when they took a break from the hard slug of mining minerals to explore the strange new world of derelict watcher but yes stalker he's coming forward stalkers never lie um they never exaggerate stories they're always very to the point and concise it has something a lot to do with the fact that all protoss units um communicate telepathically and that does mean that it's kind of difficult to exaggerate things because people know what you're thinking and if you know what you're thinking you can't exactly hide it too well now here we do see that SCV making his way forward yet again. Same SCV. No. Is this? The, no. No. There's a, is there a damage SCV somewhere? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a minute. I don't know. Maybe it's the same SCV, but this one, he's going to die a horrible death. His drilling, his drill fell off. Like, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want my drill to fall off. That'd be bad times. But yeah, here we go. Two p more barracks on the way, two gases. For Hasuobs, he's got this robotics facility. I didn't mention it because it's making boring things. It's making an observer, which is safe, which is calculated. It's a normal game. We've got a natural nexus down here for Hasuobs. Hero Marine getting his engineering bay up. No armory. Um, this game was played prior to the Hellbath nerf patch, as far as I'm aware. So, um, 
just a point to make something interesting to note. Um, definitely going to be infantry style though, out of here Marine, look, he's got lots of barracks, got an engineering bay, all looking good, Stim coming down, there are some interesting timings actually I've seen recently from Terran players against Protoss, where they get a very early um, eBay and get plus one down exceptionally quick, like five minutes, it'd be finishing now, and they just move out with some Marines and they're just like, hopped up, gonna kill you, uh, Protoss players struggle with that, but Stim timing is coming down here, so that's nice, Hasselwobs, he's teching straight the way up, he does have three gates, so it's not super quick, it's not like he went gate, robo, Facility Robo Bay. That would be pretty swish. Um, but no, he's just playing a bit safe. Getting some units out. He's got the additional warp gates. Um, the observers are also getting some good info. The stalker still sitting there. Here, Marine, getting a good little scan of all oh, that money scan that sees the forge but doesn't spot the robotics bay. But does see the robotics facility not making anything, which can be a bit of a giveaway. Marine still poking and potting around, um, just making sure nothing too sneaky comes in. So this is good. Everything is great right now in the world of both of these two players. They're both happy. Hasselwobs does have the map dominance. Um, Hero Marine doesn't really see much, but he had a scan, so that's cheating. Um, well, it's not cheating. It's effective use of your race's abilities, but still, he doesn't have to move out to scout. He's just going to be like, yeah, chill in my base, bunker up. Marines watching the high ground in case Blink came in, and good build on Derelict Watch because of the amount of cliff area. In case any Stargate units come in, he's just like, I'm prepared. Come at me. Plus one's coming down, Stim's coming down, everything's looking good. But, Hasuobs, with the first Colossus on its way, he's going to be able to start looking to put on some pressure and also deal with pressure that could be coming from Hero Marine with a lot of Marines. He's noticed already the factory and starport are in production, um, the re Reactor 2 on its way, so Medivacs will be out shortly. Tech Labs being added on here, two more. So this would allow for double upgrades, so Concussive Shell and Combat Shield to start, but critically, more Marauder production. Marauder production means Stalkers less effective, good Marine Marauder medevac composition against Protoss players. It's solid, it's the standard. May even see potentially some mines added in. Um, early game they're very strong against Protoss players just due to how much damage they can do but that window of opportunity in my opinion has been missed and probably this factory just can be mainly used to power add-ons. Now, Proxy Pylon has come down here for Hasselobs right at the very edge. We do see the Mothership Core making its way forward. There's these double upgrades I was talking about as well from Hero Marine. Concussive Shell and Combat Shield are coming down. Of course, the single Colossus is out. The second Colossus, notice, isn't in production. This is a very common strategy where Hasselobs basically gets one Colossus out and Tech switches very quickly into High Templar. Sionic Storm already researching. The purpose of this is to try and get the Terran player to go, I need Vikings. Gets a whole ton of Vikings out, and then you're like, Ha! Huh? Didn't make many Colossi, Sionic storming you. Where are your ghosts now? And the ghosts are not made. There's no Ghost Academy, and then the Terran player quite often dies. But, is Hero Marine going to fall for it? He needs to keep an eye out. If he moves out now after seeing when that robotics facility was timed with his scan, probably not. He notices he's not making any Vikings at the moment, because even if there were two Colossi out, which would pretty much be the most, he still would be able to deal with it with this force, um, with some good stims, because there wouldn't be much gateway support. Interestingly, Hasuobs does have the two, uh, sorry, one, two upgrades coming down, whereas Hero Marine is just busy getting plus one, one. Um, already got plus one infantry attack, plus one infantry armor on its way down, but this one brave stalker is not really seeing much. He sees one Marine. That is it. He's like, hmm. Sonic Storm, very close to completion. Literally 10 in-game seconds away from being done. Hero Marine, he's pushing his way in. He's trying to get there. Scan goes off. He sees the single Colossus, but nothing else. Does he see the High Templar? Where are the High Templar? Um, they are just chilling down the back, so hidden from view. But Hero Marine is going to be like, well, I know you had that robotics facility for a long time now. I see nothing that could have come out of it, and only a single Colossus. Probably a tech switch. So smart play here by Hero Marine retreating back. Charge done for those Zealots. Means they will be able to close up the distance, but some good damage with Concussive Shell is putting it into that. A single Marine does get the scout out, but the third is trying to be secured by Hasuobs. Really vital information, but Hero Marine, he's just like, what up? I don't care. I've got my third already. He's also got a worker lead. 71 SCVs. Plus three mules, up against just 57 probes. And here in Marine Colonia base up. That is a huge economic lead. Huge! Look at that! Look at the tiny blue bit and the massive red bit. That's good news right now for the Terran player. He's pumping units relentlessly. He's got the 1-1 upgrades up against uh, soon to be 1-2 upgrades of the Protoss player. But the storms are always going to be the threat. There's six High Templar there. There comes down the first storm. Good movement out of it. A couple of units getting caught, but it's not massive. The force fields though zoning out a lot of this army. Unfortunately, now also zoning out the zealots. 
Good storm there. A lot more damage being done to this infantry. But Hero Marine not pushing it all in straight away. Trying to bait men at more and more storms. Hasworms dealing okay damage. But now that these High Templar are low on energy, the scan goes off, sees the retreat in progress. And that means the Viking is pushing forward to try and deal some more damage here. Infantry can potentially start moving in soon. CJ has just got a train of red coming across. Hellbats, they're down. They're ready to go. But look at the big picture. Okay. Mobius Reactor already getting research. Ghosts getting pumped out. I believe we do also have... No, none out yet. So first three ghosts going to hit the field shortly. EMPs then going to be able to use against the High Templar. Snipes. EMPs just against anything with shields, which is always good. The third, four Hasu orbs. It's only just now up. The probe chance by coming down. Look at how long there's been that massive economic lead for Hero Marine. Absolutely mountainous amounts of time. Admittedly, Hasworbs knows that he's not getting attacked at the moment because there is this observer here. Would like to see that taken out. But the big thing is that the Hellbats on this infantry is now actually a pretty meaty army. Lots of Marauders, lots of Hellbats, and a good chunk of Vikings too. Taking this out is going to be tough, especially with um, only that single... Uh, wow, three Colossi now. Wow, okay, this makes things a lot different. Colossus production, we started back up. Didn't notice that in the production tab, but this now means that actually... With a good engagement, Hasworms will be okay. What he doesn't want, though, is allowing this max out Terran army to get a good concave. And that's exactly what it's doing. The attack angle looking here for Hammering to be great. Storms are starting to come down. The ghosts need to get some EMPs off, but I'm not even sure they're in with this armor. We do see some counter damage being done by Zed of Warpins, but will it be enough? Well, I just don't think so, because look at this Hero Marine. He is up 40 supply, and he's pushing in. A couple of EMPs definitely went down there. The sentries are out of energy. There's no more storms available. The, the Colossi, they're getting focused down by the Vikings very effectively, and Hero Marine is just pushing in endlessly. Hasworbs down to under 100 supply now. The final Colossus is about to fall, and there is the well-played... GG from Hasworbs. Hero Marine takes his opponent down 2-0 and his teammate down 2-0. Quality play by him. Such a sensational Terran. Real, I, I can't even say up-and-comer because he's already up there with some of the best. So someone who has got an amazing future if they stay in esports. So yeah, 2-0 there to Hero Marine. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, like the video, leave a cool comment. And of course, subscribe. I get new games up every single day of the week, so I wouldn't want you to miss one. And yeah, on that note, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and bye for now.